Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel DS Tech Miller. This is part 7 of our Copilot Studio tutorial series. In today's video, I will cover conditions in Copilot Studio. So I'll go to the agent and we have created one agent in this particular series which is DS Tech Miller first agent. And here I will go to the topics to cover the conditions. Let me pick this topic which we have created which is create new incident. Over here, I'll close this test tab and here if you will see we have we already have this question which is of mcq type and there are multiple options for this now if i wanted to add certain condition in my topic how i can do that i will click on this node and if i scroll down i will get this add a condition okay over here now this condition and if you will see this is the if condition and then all other condition which could be the else condition to understand this for example over here select a variable i can say where category is the variable over here which is collecting the response from the users so i'll say is equal to hardware okay this is the option i have and what i wanted to do is at the bottom for now let's just display a message you have selected hardware category okay and i'll just try to minimize it okay and now if i wanted to go to the other condition that means i can over here i can display a message any message let's say i can say you have not selected hardware category but what if I wanted to have another else if condition for software that you have selected software category or HR category. How I can do that? Over here you can see I have, uh, you know, if I will select over here I can add another condition but this will only come true if user is selecting the hardware category. If I wanted to add in parallel here if you will see I have nothing. But to add another condition what I can do I can go to this condition and here I will see insert new condition so i can say again i will select my variable and this time i will put it equal to software and again same message send a message and i'll say you have selected i'll copy it from here and i'll just modify it you have selected software category so this is how i can have multiple condition this is if condition else if condition and then else condition i cannot have any condition after this all other condition this would be the last condition okay now some best practices over here see this could be complicated in a real time scenario so always give some heading to your condition for example hardware condition so it would be Easy to do, easy to work with when you will be having some CR on your agent or you know whenever you are working with a for a complex agent, so it would be easy for you when you are working at a later point in time. I can say that software condition and all other condition. If I'll go over here, there are some other options as well. For example, there is the reorder condition. I can change the order of the condition also. So the moment I have selected software condition, you can see select destination position. So I have to select another node. Let me select this particular. So now it got swiped. Again, if I have to show you reorder condition, go and select the condition where you want to put it. And see, this is how you can swipe it. So again, assume over here, if you have 10 conditions, so it would be easy to swipe it. So rename, you can rename your then another important thing over here is comment. So you can add some comment also over here, which could be visible for others and they can see. And also if you wanted to add some hint for yourself why you have put it this logic. So all these things would be helpful. I can say for now this is hint which will help me in future. Let's see where it will be visible. And over here you could see this is the comment. Like this you can add more and more comments the user can reply to these comments and also these comments could be useful while having a code review so all these things make sure you are using this as well next is we will see how we can use formula over here in the if condition for that what i will do i will add another condition i will click on this and i will say insert new condition and you will see over here 
have an option for have an option change to formula which would not be available over here why so because i have already selected this variable first i have to do reset node then only uh, that particular option would be available for example if i select a variable over here and if i go back into this see that but uh, that formula option got disappeared so what i can do i can click on reset node which will reset this particular condition i can go to change to formula now here i can type the powerx formula so this is the same formula uh, or same thing which we are using in power app so then with the help of this power fx uh, power formula it becomes very powerful you can put any complex condition also over here in our case for example we are using this category variable over here you could say this global dot where category so same i will type over here i'll say global dot now where category is our variable where category is equal to this time i will say payroll okay for payroll let me see the uh, upper case and lower case that i will see but over here you could see uh, automatically it has detected the type as boolean and output is this i'll click on insert and here you could see our function got inserted but before that i just wanted to see payroll everything is there in lower case so this is particularly fine and over here you could see automatically it converted it to the same thing and here again i can go ahead and i can say send a message you have selected payroll category you have selected payroll category and before we proceed further i will click on save we'll again go to this particular condition we will see if that formula change to formula option is available and you could see it is not there now if i reset it again it's got reset go to change to formula click on this go to formula and here you will see along with global there are various other functions as well for example if you will go to topic so you will find many things related to topic over here similarly to access the system variable you can use a system function and ours is a global variable so we are using this global variable and if i click on dot i will get all my uh, global variable so here i just wanted to show you this you can use make sure that you try to use topic function system function and you can explore other functions as well over here now i'll click on insert so you know why i have uh, revisited this particular condition because i am also not sure earlier i have typed the formula but again it got converted to this particular schema i just wanted to try again if it is happening again but uh, as of now it is uh, stick to the formula thing only okay no worries let's proceed further so so far what we have seen how to add the condition how to add else if condition all other condition will come at the last how to reorder conditions and how we can make use of the formula also which makes it the you know powerful thing or which make makes it or which give us the ability to add the complex condition how we can add comments in the uh, condition and why it is important to rename your condition or give meaningful name to your condition so all these things i have covered so far let's test it i'll click on the test icon and i'll say what is the i have to check what is the topic or what is the phrase it should be create new incident okay now i can select hardware and you could see how it is traversing you are selected hardware category i'll again say create new incident and it is same thing you have selected hardware category because we have already selected so what i have to do i have to reset it and again if i say the same thing or and like or if i try to trigger my topic here if i select let's say uh, hr category now this will go to the else condition somehow it is giving me an error okay let me try again create new incident i'll say hr okay so let's see what is the error with our so guys if you look at the error message uh, the expression on the condition item node this 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 the incompatible incompatible type so there is some incompatible type and we have only uh, created one condition with the formula so definitely there is some problem over there so i'll go back to my create new incident topic 
okay and here if you will see carefully this is multiple choice question so this is option set and i told you whatever the value we will assign first this variable will automatically become uh, of that type so we have uh, assigned the value of type option set so this is option uh, this is a variable of type option set okay and here also if you will see this is object it's not plain text and here if i go again it got converted to this uh, similar format so what i'll do i'll go and do reset node and according to me the mm -hmm. problem is if i go to the environment not environment what i'll do i'll say reset node okay change to formula and then formula and what i was doing is global dot where category is equal to payroll this is what i was doing so i was trying to compare option set with the text so for that is not working what i can do is i can convert this into text and then it should work this should work now according to me now i will insert this and this should work and we will rename this condition as payroll now i'll save and i quickly reset it and then we will test it this time it should work reset this and i'll say create new incident create new incident this is done and this time i will select payroll and it worked it worked so the problem was we were not converting option set to text now i'll again reset and we will test the last condition which is the else condition okay now i'll say create new incident and this time i'll select hr this was getting failed earlier and it also won so guys this is how we can work with conditions in copilot studio topic so this is what we have learned in today's video okay so i'll go back to my deck and we'll see so far what i have covered in this particular tutorial so guys this is uh, what i have covered we have covered all these topics which are marked in green and in my next video i will be covering how to add knowledge sources to the copilot studio and then we will go on to some other topics i have added some new topics also over here which i will be covering in this tutorial which is connected agents autonomous agents add knowledge sources agent flows so all these topics also i will be covering going forward thank you for watching today's video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos till then much love keep learning thank you